Got there. Dragonfly. Oh. So now I see a uh, big stonefly hatch here. Mm -hmm. Right? It's like some kind of little midges or mayflies or something. Coming out. Okay, this is Saturday, May 30th. Uh, we've been taking a break from uh, the masonry up at the utility building. And Matt and I took a walk down to the beautiful river down here. Um, there's approximately 150 steps going down to the river. Uh, and then we were uh, fishing uh, with uh, basically small spoons. Uh, we didn't really have uh, what I think the fish wanted. It was a little early in the spring, and um, I think our success would have been a lot better if we would have had fly or live bait, i.e. Uh, garden worms, night crawlers, uh, or little fathead minnows. But... Um, uh, it was uh, just a beautiful day, a beautiful stretch of river, and uh, we were just happy to, uh, to get down there and uh, experiment. Um, as you could see, um, the river is just gorgeous. It's got deep holes where big brown trout uh, can hang. Um, they can hang all year. Uh, there's feeders going in there. Uh, they have brookies, uh, which are which are native to those small feeders which run into the river. They have stocked rainbows and stocked brown trout. They also have small smallmouth bass. Uh, I've never caught big ones. Although, uh, uh, from what I hear, there are some big ones, and they do catch very, very big walleye, and occasionally very, very big pike. So, uh, this is just uh, uh, a quick teaser of uh, uh, some beautiful spring shots of the river. Uh, it's a little bit rugged. Uh, you got to be in pretty good shape, uh, but uh, it can be very, very rewarding walking in short sections of the river and catching your trout. Early in the morning, uh, temperature's about 55. Second trip of the season. Uh, we're gonna do some work and we're gonna do some fishing. We're inside the camp, just stoked up a fire. Coffee, camp coffee's going. Camp looks good, it's well stocked. Windows are open because it was warm last night. Nice and cool now. We're going to put in a full day of work. Tomorrow we're going to fish the Dax. Monday we're going to work again. <clears throat> Maddo's in there, bet it. Here's the bathroom. River's roaring away out there. Okay, keep you posted. Okay, here is our first shots of the A-frame camp. Um, it's opened up, this is the loft. A beautiful little place, real, real nice view up there. The river is right behind, behind you. Uh, it gets warm at night from the stove. Uh, there's um, a double queen bed with uh, a, a foam made queen bed. Uh, that window looks out on the fire pit and the picnic table, and uh, it's just real nice. I mean, most people that go into this A-frame camp uh, say this is 
all that they would ever want in a in a small country getaway cabin. Here we are making our famous camp food, breakfast, which is French toast. Uh, this goes out to all my French toast buddies, Gina and Marco. I got to make good French toast because they're jealous and they're master chefs. So we make the best camp French toast. Uh, we're going to do some, uh, we're going to do some, uh, cheese omelets, some eggs over. And of course we got our wonderful camp coffee. Okay, home from our day of fishing, out on Champlain, it was freezing cold. Good day of fishing. Caught about 10 fish, a lot of fowls. Now we just started one of our small campfires to warm up. We're gonna be eating dinner with Chris Palumbo, who is an awesome New York State hunting and fishing guide down in the uh, down the central uh, state. Uh, he's staying in the A-frame tonight in the A-frame camp. He rode up on his Harley or on his Indian, and uh, and uh, we're gonna eat some dinner and have a good time. Chris Palumbo, my good friend here, is waiting until we have a really good YouTube video to flash his information on. <laughs> the problem is he might have to wait 20 years or so, but in the meantime, I'll flash it on for him anyway. Pastor George, pray for him. He's had some hard times lately. But anyway. Uh, this is my bloody finger method. <laughs> patented. What is it? Patented. Patented bloody finger. Patented, yeah. The patented bloody finger. <laughs> that we've done all the way from the base of the utility building right up to the top. And as you see in the next episode, <laughs> why they call it the bloody finger. <laughs> the pedo with nubs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody nubs. Yeah. In fact, I think I'm ready for the glove. I got about halfway through. I'm ready for the glove. Yeah. We would have showed you from 2012, but... <laughs> GoPro wasn't there. <laughs> they didn't have GoPros back then. Well, we had them. We they, didn't own them. <laughs> yeah. They had the rock and the, and the mud. Yeah, we've been around for centuries. Yeah, but they didn't have the GoPro. Timbo. Give me some more. And another. Here we have the final phase. We got six foot left to fill the hole in. This is 2014. So 14 to 20, six years. Right? From the time you started the basement, right? Yeah. Is that when you did it? Yeah. 14? Yeah. Or you, uh, yeah. Because it was like 16 I started the storm. Oh, you did? No. We have 15 marked on that down there. Oh yeah, I think so. So I, I think we might have. So we might have started in 2013. So the stones we probably started in 14. Yeah. This you did in 13. Yes. The foundation because it took us. We didn't do all this in one year, did we? No, two years. Yeah. The, this took two, right? Yeah. Two yeah, seasons. I think so, yeah. And we were done. And then. Uh, hey. The GoPro is that direction. You're going to be looking at the camera when you're talking, right, yeah, Matt? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're in Hollywood. Oh, I yep. I don't like 16 inch centers. That's so flexible. Unless, I don't know, maybe they have it worked out now. I don't know. Here's Pete. Huh? He's given the concrete wall the bloody finger. <laughs> Saves work. Saves work down the road.
What do you mean by the bloody finger? <laughs> oh, my fingers are so sore when I went home. Blood. How about the other mud? Yeah. This is how feet grows mud. Here we are at our secret lake in the mountains. Second, second fishing trip of the year. And uh, we're off. Uh, water is, holy smokes. 70 degrees pretty warm so we're expecting a couple nice fish all right signing out okay here we are on uh, the lake in the mountain pond uh, we're doing a little traveling uh, at high speed across the lake um, we uh, we uh, scan the shoreline, uh, and the fronts change quickly. Uh, so we had some rough weather there, but uh, you have to be very careful when traveling uh, because um, of rocks and under underwater obstructions. Back in the water. Thank God. Second trip of the season with a New York State special. 48 degrees. Lake is pretty much barren. A couple people fishing bullheads and perch from the uh, dock right on the Canadian border. Uh, bonfire going. And uh, some guys from Mass that are just hanging it up. And that's it. We're on our way out, and uh, we'll uh, get to the details in a little while. McNeil, um, let me see. Of course, I got him on six on test, and he's trying to bite my line off. Uh, I think, believe it or not, I think we're going to attempt to release him. I hope I just don't release him on my lure. Let me see. Need a little bit more line to absorb the impact. Okay. Now. There he goes. <laughs> nice, huh? Good fish. And there we have our trophy catch. Little perch. But I will say, uh, yeah, we yeah, could. As well. It's an eater. Ah, we can eat him. <laughs> Here's Matt with a mean largey on an Adirondack mature early in the season. Just sweep the tip this way and I'll. Yeah. You're too, a little too close, man. There you go. them out raise his tail up underneath that's it uh, you're, with just one finger that's it oh sorry beautiful okay they're out a little <laughs> yeah. well large enough like it in that's warm water too Summer season is starting with the largemouth bass. 
course a little smaller than we get in Florida, but it's a nice little chunker. Here it is, the final convocation, Matt and I eating the last supper in the A-frame camp just before we close up and fly out. It is a nice little camp. Uh, it's not as luxurious as the honeymoon suite over there, but it's a real hunting and fishing cabin. Um, we have the blackout curtains on it now so that vandals can't see what's in here but um it's just a beautiful little camp all wood uh real nice place to get out of uh get out of the weather and shelter in the dax and uh we're just cooking up some spaghetti we're gonna eat it lock up and we'll give the final blessing in about half an hour Okay, wait a minute. Okay, we've locked our camp up with our nice little light duty ramp and the upper ramp, which is aircraft aluminum for all the vandals. And thanks to the state police, nobody's ever been caught, chased around a little bit, but never caught. But uh, so we took it on our own to, uh, to secure the camp. So. Besides, besides the angels that are guarding it. Okay, so um, we're just about out. We want to thank the Lord again for the wonderful, safe trip that we had, the wonderful fishing in the Adirondacks, uh, the camaraderie with Matt, Chris Palumbo, his girlfriend, and Timmy Tedford. And... We'll see you next video, which is approximately Father's Day weekend.